Welcome back, everyone, to another Eat Speak podcast, the most delicious podcast in the Metroplex. I'm Bud Kennedy. And Steve Wilson. You know, everyone is talking about uh, black-owned restaurants have always been a part of our community, always been some of the best restaurants in our community. Everyone wants to know about the, the uh, black business community, the restaurants that, that bring us uh, all kinds of good food at all levels, and the chefs who work hard at every level of dining. Uh, we, we have with us today one of the very best. He's been on the Travel Channel. He's been on the Food Channel. Uh, Rosako Bailey from Rosako Soul Food in Bedford. Welcome, Rosako. How are you guys doing today? <laughs> Thank you, man. What are you cooking today? Um, right now, um, it, it's like a catch-22 because, you know, with the food vendors, like some of them are limiting how many pounds of meat you can get. So basically, I'm cooking what I can get. So uh, <laughs> normal, some of my normal menu items, my jerk wings, my jalapeno cheddar sausage, my rib tips, my... Um, Candy yams, greens, collard greens, baked beans, potato salad, um, uh, some other stuff. I'm I just been changing my menu as I go as the food and, and the situation with the coronavirus. Steve, I don't know if you remember we we started writing. Of course, I went to Rosacco's when he opened, and he had these great TV show bits. But the main thing we write about him is his Thanksgiving uh, turkey and and uh, turkey and dressing waffle. Uh, you know, Thanksgiving three sixty five. It's like uh, Thanksgiving turkey and and dressing waffle year round. That's kind of the thing that we keep bringing up. Uh, Steve, I don't know if you have brought some of that when we brought it back to the office or tried any of that. Do you have any thoughts? Um, I, I'm interested in the rib, rib tips. <laughs> <laughs> Is that pretty popular? Uh, yeah, I sell out. I mean, right now they're limiting only two cases. So I used to go through like four or five a day. So two cases, that leaves me four or 48 slabs, chop, uh, so Sunday, uh, I sold I sold out of rib tips probably about three o'clock. Uh-huh. So I mean I got a lot of people upset now because they driving an hour away and be like you ran out of it. No, I sold out. It's the fact that I only control what the vendors allow me to order. And if you don't got a big freezer and can order all this stuff at once, I hold it before this. And so I was also was dealing with um, two weeks ago there was a storm in, in Bedford and. It, the tree hit a break. Something how it hit the the can't think of the name. A transformer. Yeah. The transformer it uh-huh. blew up with the blow. With it blew up, it sent the surge to my building and wiped out my walk-in cooler. So the next day I came in, my oh, cooler man. Was seventy degrees, and I lost probably about four thousand dollars worth of meats and foods. Uh, but you've had harder hits than anybody. I mean, you you know everybody's had COVID, but nobody else had a a storm go through like you had in the. Uh, Storm. I remember when my restaurant got broken into. <laughs> uh, it's all kind of stuff. But um, you know, I mean, we say something to Mason, he often tried, never denied, and willing to be tried again. So I just keep pushing. I really. Coach.